Let's graph the linear equation y equals 4x minus 1. And we're going to do it two ways. We'll use a table of values here, and then we'll check our work with slope-intercept formula. So let's put some values in for x, get a value for y, then we'll graph those points on our graph paper here. Why don't we start with 0? 4 times 0, that's 0, 0 minus 1, minus 1. Next, let's use 1. We could use any values, and they would give us values for y, and that would all show up on our line, but we want it to fit on our graph paper, so 1's a good choice. 4 times 1 is 4, minus 1 is 3. And then how about negative 1? 4 times negative 1, that's negative 4, plus the negative 1, that's negative 5. So these are the points that we'll graph for the linear equation y equals 4x minus 1. So we have 0 for x, negative 1 for y. 0, negative 1. That's our first point. We have 1x, and then y is 3. And then our last point is negative 1 and then negative 5. And you can see these all line up. We could have done it with two points, but it's good to have three points to make sure you do the first part correctly. Let's put a line through this. And this is a graph for y equals 4x minus 1. Let's put some arrows here to show it goes to infinity. And then we can check our work with the slope-intercept formula. So y equals mx plus b. b, that's the y-intercept. That's negative 1. So that's where the line is going to cross the y-axis, right here at negative 1. So that works. Next, for the slope, that's 4. But we can think about that as 4 over 1. It's still 4, but now we can say rise over run. So we can go to our y-intercept, go up 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. There's our point. Do it again. 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1. And that's on our line as well. And we could go in the opposite direction. We could go down 1, 2, 3, 4, over 1 to the left. So we did the first part correctly. This is the line, the correct line, for the linear equation y equals 4x minus 1. And this is Dr. B. Thanks for watching.